what inspired you to start painting dogs? In honesty, it was, it was uh, largely by chance that I came to do it. It was an ex-girlfriend's dog that I painted for Valentine's Day. It struck me how, with how much ease that I, it, it came to me, how much more naturally it was for me to paint the dog than it was a human form, which up until that point was largely all I had been doing, uh, following in the footsteps of many uh, traditional portraitists. All right, Rory, so whose painting is this? Who commissioned this painting? This painting belongs to uh, Pepe and Emilia Van Poole, who are a big family down in uh, Palm Beach, Florida. You can see in each of the dogs, they, they, they're not just black Labradors, they're very much blues and purples and, you know, some funky colours going on there. And I also applied that to the background with this sort of hyper-realistic uh, green Floridian foliage going on. And uh, photographed each lab individually, um, trying to capture this sort of a scene by itself would have been quite, uh, quite daunting. What is your favourite breed of dog to paint? Well, I think, funnily enough, I used to think it was Labradors. I do love labs as a dog owner, but there's no real preference as to which one I like to paint. I love the challenge of every new breed. This was actually two, two separate photos put together. These two were sat pretty much like that together. They're, they're almost inseparable. Right. Um, and this one was a bit more of a, a rogue, uh, rogue dog, so she was uh, tearing around all over the place. So I had to get her separately. How much time does it take for each painting? So, Usually what I try to do is have uh, the dog being very traditionally done in oil paint, the background in a sort of uh, uh, thick, textured, mixed media, often acrylic gels and things like that. So, so this, um, yeah, this was a good month and a half uh, of layering and just going over and over. But I was very happy with it, very proud of it. So uh, this painting here was uh, actually commissioned by Ivanka Trump for her mother, Ivana. And uh, this here is little Tiger Trump. And uh, Tiger looking perched beautifully on his little silk chaise long. Tiger was a lot of fun. He was one of those very charismatic dogs that was leaping all over the place. And that's exactly what I want. That's exactly what I always try and capture, is that, that boundless energy in a dog. When you're working with a dog that's maybe a bit shy and timid, it's a lot harder to get that sort of um, boundless energy out of it. And if you wanted to be remembered, like let's just say, you know, there was one painting you've done in your life, what is your favorite one? I have to say, so far, it's, uh, it's my Greyhound. Greyhound uh, really was a new piece for me. It was a new, bold um, endeavor. It was getting away from the more traditional side of things. I included this photo transfer background, which uh, was something I'd used many years ago when I was at school and had largely forgotten about. And I thought, why not try this with dogs? And uh, so I put this background down, painted the dog over the top, three times life size. Uh, as you can see, it's an enormous piece. It's actually since inspired some, uh, the idea to do some wallpaper. Why I like to have them down in a dog's eye view is mm -hmm. uh, it's trying to break away from the traditional. I don't like that chocolate box feel that a lot of portrait artists put into their work. But especially when you're doing dogs, you want it to be about their life, their environment, their energy. Mm -hmm. The dogs don't have the ego, the, they don't suffer from the same self-conscious egos that we do as humans. So you get a far more naturalistic painting, I feel. You know, in the past when I, when I painted people, nobody's ever happy with how you make them look, no matter how good you make them look. Uh, in their opinion, their own self-image is completely uh, different to what, what you see. So I always felt that they were very staged, whereas with dogs, they don't care about that. They have no inhibitions, so it's a very much more raw, energetic, charismatic piece that you get um, from a dog or any horse, any animal, um, than you would from a human.